Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts. I do not usually post twice in two days, but I'm working in this new altered book in my studio today, and I came to a point in laying out a page where I realized it was a great opportunity to talk again about where to place your focal points in a collage layout. This is a children's picture book of Bible stories, and it's bigger than the size I usually work with, which is really, really fun because it's letting me use a bunch of bigger format prints and things that I've had stashed away for a while. This came from the girl's own paper. That's a bound book of magazines from, this was from 1888 and it's cathedrals across Europe and England. It fit pretty well, and there's a lot of drama going on already. I thought about just stopping right there. But I also have this oversized angel, or maybe she's Madonna. And if I turn it over, I can see that this probably came from a book of art prints, but in black and white rather than color. She also fits really well here, so I'm thinking that's a sign. I know I'm going to go with this as my focal point on the right side here. And again, I could stop and this would be a pretty good layout. But I thought I would show you how adding elements over here can change the entire narrative. And even if you don't think you're telling a story, a story is coming from what you're doing. and. Um, I just want to show you how some of these different things can influence that story. I know I want to go with a bird, and I have spent the last hour and 15 minutes narrowing it down to a few. This one is really uh, pretty. It's a swallow. And I like the fact that he's very, because of the tail, a lot of vertical stuff going on here, which echoes the spires. And he could easily be perched on a spire ledge. But I don't think these two are really engaging with each other. It's pretty, but it's not doing anything. Now, this, I love these little, little brown jobs. And he could also be perched, maybe. But there's something about how small and round he is and how he seems to be unaware that he's being stared at that makes me feel like she's going to catch him and eat him. See, like, for some reason, her gaze has just gone from neutral to almost uh, scary. Bum, bum, bum. Look out, fly away. Let's try this. I really like this a lot. It's just got that little subtle blue shade that will break up some of the monochromaticness. Is that a word? And he can also perch because of the shape of his feet on one of these rose windows, which I like a lot because that's going to make, when it's glued down, make it really look like it, it I'm, should be that way. Again, though, they are not really engaging when he's up here. When I move him down here and perch him on this tympanum over the, the door, however, they are. He's kind of looking up at her and she's looking slightly down at him. This also draws the viewer's eye across like this, which really makes your piece hold together. So I'm thinking about that. Not sure. This I really like as well. He's flying away. Now look what happens. If I move it over here, they're, they're sort of engaged, but it's just the page is not balanced. This is a lot. It's very heavy on the side. And something over here needs to draw the eye to give it some balance. So here we've done that. He's flying out. 
now the page is balanced, but she's looking at, she's not looking at him and he's not looking at her. So I can bring it down here. And now she is looking. And even though he's small and round, her look no longer seems predatory so much as, I feel like maybe she's given him a note to take and she's watching him go off with it, wishing him well. If I bring him down here, it's as if he's struggling to get airbound. So I do like this and I'm thinking about that and I, and the movement because this thing is very static, which is okay, but this adds some movement. I'm thinking about that. And finally, look at this, this little wee little guy. He's a black and white engraving from 1912. Now, even though he's tiny, which isn't helping my balance a whole lot, I love that story that just became. They are looking at each other tenderly like friends. He can also perch on any of these ledges. And even though he's small, it does draw the eye over here. So it gives a little bit of balance. And there you have it. All birds so similar, but all bringing a different interpretation and story to this layout. I hope that that might give you some ideas about where you lay out your own collage images, focal points. If you would like to suggest a bird to me, I wouldn't mind because I am going to glue this lady down today, but the bird isn't getting glued until tomorrow. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with. If you like collage and art journal work and uh, altered books, please subscribe to my channel. I usually post on a Friday. I also have a monthly online, online newsletter, which is going out tomorrow. I should be working on it right now instead of playing in this book. So if you're interested in subscribing to that, you can find that in the text below this video. Until later, I hope everybody has a creative weekend. Bye.